Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Jamaicans in the U.S. have expressed shock at the apparent booing of Deputy House Speaker and MP Juliet Holness at a jerk festival in the city of Miramar in Florida on Sunday. Global Jamaica Diaspora Council member Dr. Alan Cunningham, who was in attendance, said the behavior of the crowd was embarrassing. About 100 supporters of the opposition PNP on Wednesday protested outside the offices of the Health Ministry in New Kingston over the deaths of 13 babies at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital from a bacterial outbreak. The protesters were continuing calls for the resignation of Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton. Ramon Silvera, the self-styled professional clown who has been charged over his role in ordering passengers from a taxi during a protest in downtown Kingston on Monday, says he regrets his actions. The Education Ministry says COVID-19 tests done amid a spike in respiratory illnesses at the College of Agriculture, Science and Education case in Portland have come back negative. In sports, Jamaica Football Federation General Secretary Dennis Chung says Hugh Menzies, the architect of the national senior women's team's 2019 World Cup qualifying campaign, could be returning to the program to help the reggae girls with their World Cup campaign. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $154.99, the British pound sterling for $184.98, and the Canadian dollar for $118.16. In your weather forecast, on Thursday morning, expect showers across eastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across southern and northwestern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.